Elmer by David Mekki. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old. Elephants tall or fat or thin. Elephants like this, that or the other. All different but all happy and all the same color. All that is except Elmo. Elmo was different. Elmo was patchwork. Elmo was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elmo was not elephant color. It was Elmo who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants. Sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elmo who started it. One night, Elmo couldn't sleep for thinking and the thing that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Whoever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought, no wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Elmo slipped quietly away, unnoticed. As he walked through the jungle, Elmo met other animals. They always said, Good morning, Elmo. Each time, Elmo smiled and said, Good morning. After a long walk, Elmo found what he was looking for, a large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Elmo caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so that the berries fell on the ground. Once the ground was covered in berries, Elmo lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Elmer looked like any other elephant. After that, Elmer set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. And each time, Elmo smiled and said, Good morning, pleased that he wasn't recognized. When Elmo rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Elmo as he worked his way to the middle of the herd. After a while, Elmo felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle, same old bright sky, same old rain cloud that came over from time to time. And lastly, same old elephants. Elmo looked at them. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Elmo had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious, silent, still standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, <laughs> The elephants jumped and fell all ways in surprise. Oh my gosh and golly, they said, and then saw Elmo helpless with laughter. El 
Elmer, they said. It must be Elmer. Then the other elephants laughed too, as they had never laughed before. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst and when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. The elephants still laughed as Elmer was washed back to normal. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant. You have played some good jokes, but this had been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colors. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. That is exactly what the elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves in parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant color, you will know that it must be Elmer.